onto ah! the chest. So that <laughs> that is ferocious. Really, really gross. All right, so we're gonna start out this tutorial with a bald cap. I'm a little too scared to see the movie. Oh God! Wow! I did some really great reference pictures. It's always good to start out with one. I love this one of his big smile with all those creepy teeth. Nice so makeup tutorial. You too can be a clown. You also want to bring that down onto your oh, neck. Oh, good. It teaches you how to do makeup for Halloween. With the smile lines, I draw those out and add a ton of shadow going underneath because the skin would be pulling upwards, causing a shadow coming down. Oh, I like that. Add a little bit of black in there. Very educational. Right around the outer corners It'd of the It'd be good eye. for Halloween to have this. I'm starting out with the bottom teeth and making sure so that my mouth is just Close. Wow, that's starting to look creepy. Teeth will still kind wow, of Wow, look at transformation. His upper lip is very thin, and then when it comes to the bottom, it's really thick. Wow. I think I'm going to do this. Start darkening the outer corners of the mouth. This is where the mouth is open. Paint on your little red nose. Wow, that's amazing. That She's has. really not scary already. Circular. It's not quite circular. It kind of comes down a little bit. Oh my goodness. Onto ah! the chest. <laughs> that is ferocious. This is just to sketch out where we want the ruffles to be. I even darken around Whoa, the neck a little bit. That's really amazing. So the idea that this is a different entity. Pretty good my makeup body. artist. Now throwing on the wig that I'm going to use for this look. I cut oh, the golly! Because he has so much of his forehead showing, and I cut. There'll be a lot of it really clowns nice out there. And throw in your contacts to complete. The Looks look. real. And here is the final look. Boy, that is creative and talented. And here is the final look. Oh, amazing! I'm sure that took hours to do. She's good. I wonder how long does it take to do all that? It was very clever. I, I like the, what, just, you know, looking at the mechanics of putting the makeup on. Next up, what I'm doing, or what I'm starting to do, is I'm using a little... Oh, she's gonna clean her teeth. Oh, she's doing a headpiece, too. ...in the end to scratch the lines in. I'm not... Oh, my scratching. goodness. Now I have all the red... Oh, I forgot what you call that guy. Into, oh, there's a character, I think, in a cracks, film. Oh, pinhead. So now I'm oh, working on wow. gluing the nails on. I really wanted to do it the right way so that the head... She's of the taking nail a chance if she goes out with those nails sticking in like that. So the head of the nail is out and the little teeny tip is glued, but it's just way too tiny and it just will not stick for anything. Does it hurt? This is the pinhead look. Looks really scary. real. I think it's really scary, really it gross. Is. And Oh, I wouldn't um, want to do that. Maybe you can use it for Halloween. It looks kind of dangerous. I enjoyed watching, and until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye. The other one was really more, but I like this one too simple, easy to use. That was really amazing. That's artistry. Wow, that was an incredible makeup job. Back from the dead. Okay, so the music goes with it, I think. I love the eyes. I guess they're all ready for Halloween. Oh, wow! Boy, how do they learn to do this? This is really impressive. I wish you'd explain what that thing was. Skeleton of some kind? I would love to be able to do this. Now she's covering her eyeballs. Oh, putting those things in your eyes? Oh, oh golly! This, this takes some creativity and know-how. And it's amazed me, people are willing to put that kind of time and effort into it. That's really cool. If you've got the talent and the ability to do something like that for Halloween, I mean, the cheap mask works, but it gets really hot in there. It teaches you how to do your makeup yourself instead of going, having it done, or w buying expensive costumes, which I can do. I think I'll do the first one. Okay, so you just watched some very talented makeup artists over time show you some Halloween makeup tutorials. Yeah, wow. So now we're gonna show you some images of other Halloween transformations. Okay. Oh, wow! <laughs> Golly! The mouth is a whole cheek. <laughs> well, so it has no bottom jaw, jaw on her. To make the bottom of the face disappear altogether. Wow. This is beyond makeup artist and into, I mean, heavily pro makeup artist. This isn't just messing around. Ooh, damn. I want to see how they do that. That's done with makeup? Oh, incredible. This is even better. It looks like it's cut off. Awesome. Reminds me of some of the street art they do that when you feel as though you're gonna fall down into something because people really know what to do with dimension. Oh, that's brutal. That's, 
I mean, the eyes are what this is all about, but the mouth in pieces. Gross, makes me throw up. <laughs> There's a person with a side of their face rotting off, right? That's great, what talent. Ah, oh, gruesome. It looks real. <laughs> looks like you got a good hit in the teeth. This looks like a lot of, uh, I don't know what, prosthetics or appliances, or all nicely blended in. Really, really gross. Like, the skin is out, the flesh is showing. <sighs> Wanna throw up? Whoa, ew, 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 ew. Worse, it's like worms, right? Looks like worms coming out of her face. What did they use for, for that maggot thing? Ugh. Excellent, yeah, things growing out of your face and over your eye, yeah, that, that's real appetizing. It's amazing what they can do. Let's see this guy, oh, he's got it all over. I wonder, he really has a, pot, a, a body this, this shape. Oh, was it really just paint all over it? I guess that's painted on, but it gives the effect of almost like there's he's wearing a suit. He's not very horny, is he? Ah, ah. Oh my God, this is really, really gross. The tongue is like right under the, the chin. That is so creative. It's just great, the painting, the way they can make it look like it's so 3D. That's interesting, but it's, it's not, not as artistic, it's just, yeah, it's just horror. Whoa, this is for real. Lightning all over her face, that's fabulous. So they've got some kind of charging going on there. It looks pretty spooky, especially the eyes. That is very cool. That, like lightning bolts going through the face. I'm wondering how they did the, uh, how they got the lightning to look so bright. It's shading. They appear illuminated, which is, I mean, it appears that they illuminated her face by what she or the makeup artist did to create that. The one with the man, his body sliced, I, I can't even imagine what that takes to do it. The average Joe, me, couldn't, you know, pick up some makeup and make myself look like that. Somebody would have to do it for me. As you can see, Halloween makeup has evolved tremendously over time. Yes, it has. A far cry from the first Phantom of the Opera. How does the makeup looks that you just saw compare to Halloween makeup from when you were growing up? There's no comparison. We didn't have any looks like that. You wanted to gross yourself out, you went to the store and you bought a little package of thing with some rubber on it and you stuck it on your face and it looked like a scar or a yucky thing. That was it. When I was growing up, we, uh, we'd take a bag and cut holes in it. That was it. We didn't do anything extensive. We were not putting makeup on. We would just wear a costume. We would be like dressed up as a nun or as a witch. We'd take eyebrow, mom's eyebrow pencil and we'd make a line with some tracks through it to look like a scar. But this is, I mean, some of those were really they were artwork. Well, as you saw, makeup's being used more than just to make yourself look beautiful these days. A lot of these artistic styles of makeup weren't around when you were younger. Do you consider makeup to be an art form or do you think it's more just for casual use? No, I think, it's, I just think of it in terms of general use. It's not the same as an artist painting. Oh, it's definitely an art form. I mean, did you see those? That they were magnificent. It's getting more, uh, is, as a profession that is more in art form. Oh, I think it's an art form. The makeup artists of my childhood would love to have been exposed to this opportunity to do this. These guys really know what they're doing. Uh, that took a lot of practice. How to make your mouth look like it's going down here? That's phenomenal. It, it, it's intriguing. But by the same token, it's exceptionally frightening. I would consider it an art form. Finally, with Halloween around the corner, maybe you don't generally like to put in a lot of makeup and costume, but what are some of your favorite Halloween traditions? Um, I go to a friend's house. Always have a lot of good food. Turn the lights off. Don't have anything. Don't answer the door. That's my tradition. Putting a, bu a bucket of water up over a doorway, <laughs> which we did, and have somebody open the door and the bucket spilled. That was, you know, it, it was harmless, but it wasn't so harmless. Kids. Because that's really, to me, what it is about. I don't do a lot of costume parties or stuff like that. You know, I, I mean, I do go. I, I do make a hell of a pirate, I'm, I gotta tell you. Before, I used to dress up like a gypsy. And then the other time, I used to dress up like a pregnant nun. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Big thanks to Dragon God Gaming for watching last week. Subscribing, you may get a shout out like artists for geniuses. Diego Villalobos, I got you! Goodbye and have a great Halloween. Hey guys, Kyle here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elders React. What are you guys gonna dress up as for Halloween? Let us know down in the comments. Bye guys. Uh -huh.